Healthy Eating with Chef Lucy. Welcome back. I'm Chef Boy RV with Chef Lucy. And if you're thirsty, then watch and see what we're making. <laughs> Welcome back, Chef Lucy. Thank you for having me again. And today's recipe, we're going to make hot cocoa or champurrado. So really easy recipe. I used to see my mom making the champurrado, and I was thinking, oh, my God, this is so complicated, and I'm going to be able to, you know, make it myself but then I was looking for recipes of how, how I can make it easier mm -hmm. you know so we have a few ingredients over here and just in minutes you can have a hot cocoa or champurrado ready Yummy. for the family all right we're gonna start over here with the flour I toasted the flour a little bit just in the pan and then add the flour no no more than just the flour okay. until it's like a little dark or golden brown and here we have like about three cups of water and adding one cup of flour and we're just gonna dissolve the water. We're gonna make sure the water is cold so we can dissolve all the flour in there. A lot of uh, recipes and they add the flour last but this one, um, you know, I think it's, it's, it's easier for me and uh, I don't have to remember a lot of steps. <laughs> so this is, we just put everything together over here and we're gonna add our cinnamon stick and this mm. one is gonna give it a special flavor start anise here and you're gonna start smelling these ingredients in a little bit okay. so we're gonna have a um, few extra ingredients that I'm adding for my hot cocoa over here will be uh, cloves like a pinch and also I'm gonna add some of that cardamom mm -hmm. and some other uh, spice that is gonna bring like all these you know special flavors like the holidays oh, coming this, yes. and stuff like you're gonna remember you know just by smelling bring back those memories yeah, just by the scent smelling you know this this recipe i added the sugar and last we're gonna add the cocoa and i'm using a uh, hack of the powder the cocoa powder over here about half uh, of the of the cup and we're just gonna stir until we get all the ingredients incorporated and get like a little like, like a silky uh, texture okay and it's gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes, medium heat, and we have to stir, you know, uh, here so it doesn't get, it doesn't stick. And lastly, we're gonna add milk. The recipe, the traditional hot chocolate doesn't go with the milk, but we're just gonna mm. add the milk yes. because we are used to, you know? So I'm adding over here, evaporated milk, half a cup, but this is optional. See? You think that you can make hot cocoa for the family? Oh, yes. <laughs> Maybe for me. <laughs> I'm the buffer for everyone. Only if they're good. All right. So this is a really easy recipe. It takes just a few minutes. Just gather all the ingredients okay. and enjoy the holidays. <gasps> it's perfect for Christmas coming up. Well, look at this. In, in like a Santa cup. <laughs> oh, I don't want to yeah, burn you can, make, you can get like a concha, like a piece of bread, and then you have Ooh, like a merienda. The, oh. This Ready. My feet up at night, watching Elf. <laughs> it's hot, but it's so good. <laughs> this is delicious. I'm going to take this back to my desk for today. Thank you so much, Chef Lucy. And please, please try this at home, especially for during the holiday season and while the kids are on break. This is something that you can have fun with them as well and teach them a little something. So you can find the instructions as well as the ingredients on our website, kymay.com. And to find more ingredients and different recipes, you can go to topmeals.com. We'll be right back. Cheers.